Oconto Falls School District is trying again for another referendum. This as voters rejected a $49.9 million referendum in April. We went back to the taxpayers and we asked them for feedback as to why they voted the way they did. And in a nutshell, people said, we really want you to come back for another referendum, but we want you to reduce the price and we really want you to focus on the middle school. The new referendum is $37.63 million. If approved, the district would move forward with creating new secured entrances for all schools. They will repair roofs and will build a new middle school. It has quite a few needs and the school district has done what they can to address those needs through their normal operating budget to the best of their ability. But when you have some of the more significant pieces, whether it be um, HVAC, roofs, flooring, um, some of those are too large to address through that operational need. On the very first day of summer school, I had two ceiling tiles that had disintegrated from the rain coming in and they were on the student desk here and I had a big pool of water. They try as best they can to patch it up. That's the best word for it, you know. A big concern for administrators is the safety of students. They want to make sure entrances at schools are secured. What we have here is we have a buzzer where people, when they enter the building or, or, or attempt to enter the building, hit the buzzer and the office can see them on the camera and they can also um, hear them. But once they have entered the main entrance, they really have free reign to enter the entire building um, without us being able to vet them further. If the referendum is approved, residents would see a property tax reduction from the previous year of 37 cents per every thousand dollars of assessed property value. If it isn't approved, taxpayers will realize a reduction of about two dollars and 62 cents per every thousand dollar of assessed property value. In Oconto Falls, Valerie Juarez, NBC 26.